Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention here, because, um, you know, we're all different. Some of us focus on things more than others. Um, I'm more of the, if it works, it's not a problem. I'm capable of moving on to that. But there are things that sometimes bother certain types of people. And they focus a lot. Like, for example, we talked about a lot of the Windows updates uh, in the past where, you know, just just ignore the install. Don't don't focus on it because that, first of all, will stress you more than anything else. And, and it doesn't serve any purpose. And, of course, once again, not being all of us, not being the same kind of, you know, people, some focus more than others. And um, sometimes it's hard to unfocus. Sometimes it's you're trying to, to, to find why and, and it bothers you that you see something that's apparently like an error message and so on. And I want to remind everybody because some people focus on what is uh, the, um, the different errors that you can get uh, when you go to the event viewer. So the event viewer in Windows will tell you all sorts of information about things that are going well or not. And some people will go here and check out what's happening, even when nothing's wrong. And that's where you should not or should stop looking at it. When your PC runs fine and every software you have runs fine, the event viewer will always, always, always give you error messages. It is something that is part of Windows. And if you look at the event viewer and look at the different sections and all of that, what's going to happen is that you will eventually go into, um, you know, here and you say, oh, I got tons of warnings of all sorts of things happening in the event viewer. And eventually you will not just see warnings, but you'll see uh, little red triangles or, you know, kind of just something telling you, oh, well, but I don't have just, you know, a problem with, uh, with, with certain apps, but I also got some that give, um, you know, they, they couldn't work or had an error message and so on. And that, of course, will drive some people crazy. So why is there some, um, you know, error messages within my operating system? Like here, error filter manager. Um, you know what? It is totally normal for, here's the surface control manager, for apps to give errors. And what happens is that it the error messages are not necessarily errors. And that's the problem with the event viewer. The event viewer will give you an error for a process that couldn't accomplish what it has to do. But it is probably normal that it couldn't accomplish what it had to do at that moment in time. Um, an example of that is if, for example, one app is using a process and another app for some reason wants to also use the same process, it could end up with the second app. The second app cannot accomplish whatever it wanted because the process is already used by another app. And so it's going to turn out an error message and say, oh, I can't do that. So when you focus on that, you're thinking maybe your Windows operating system has problems and that it should be fixed. Uh, it's not the case. Uh, in fact, the event viewer, you should not really be looking at it unless something's wrong. When something's wrong, you might go to the event viewer and then look at what's happening or what's the error code that it's giving because it doesn't work. But when your system works fine, when everything works fine, the event viewer is of almost no use because you will get error messages pop up regularly, which are actually normal. So don't focus too much on it. It doesn't serve any purpose. Uh, it's meant to be used and focused on if something is wrong. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.